We want there to be enough freedom so that each individual really feels that they can have their own unique experience and that they can wander anywhere. They can just pick one spot for the entire night if they like to. Or they can just, you know, move from room to room throughout the entire night if they want to. There's like no one correct answer and I think people will sort of get it and just kind of really revel in this kind of classical music experience. This is very personal. You're really interacting with other people. You see their faces. You hear the sounds uh, all around. And I think, I think it's about the format of this experience that is so new that, that people re react really positively because they have never uh, experienced that. An audience member can happen upon in this room a bassoon, in that room a vibraphone. It's sort of like a choose your own adventure with the piece because you determine the course the piece takes according to which instruments you approach. The electronic elements to it that are composed are just like these layers that are loop, loop layers that are around and I, cho and I choose them at will. It could be as short as big as you want because it's looping all the time so it's, I have that room to expand and contract. The bassoon is all right for walking around. You know, it's not in the marching band because it's made of wood instead of metal and it would get rained on. So it's a kind of new experience for me as a wind player to be moving and playing. But with a little concentration, it works out just fine. Well.